Okay, I found a lot of fascinating discoveries. So, it's currently stable. It's a currently stable plasma toroid. I have a 15.2 peak to peak volt, uh, 9.52 megahertz oscillator. And when I change the bias voltage, if I increase it, the two, the, <laughs> the toroid will move around more. It can, oh, it's screaming. It's mad, man. Oh, whoa, 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 it's oscillating in the megahertz. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it was changing between, now it's, a, so it's at higher frequency, nine megahertz. If I decrease the bias voltage, and it's still a toroid, if I decrease the bias voltage, we decrease the frequency, is what I'm, the general trend I'm seeing. And if I go too low on the bias voltage, uh, this, the toroid, will uh, destabilize and turn back into regular plasma discharge. So watch this. We're at 14.7 peak to peak. I wonder if I can get it all in one shot. I think I can. Let's do this. There you go. Oh, and there we go. That's gone. And I still need my... Um, I still need the Slayer to uh, tickle it into excitement. So turn that guy on, pull him away real quick. And this is my procedure as of now. I turn up the bias pot uh, and watch the potentiometer until I get oscillations. And then I bring the Slayer like this over in a certain fashion near it. And then we get... Perfect. Oh, sometimes. <laughs> and then you can, I found if you ground it more, you can get it to turn into a toroid. Sometimes. Oh yeah, there we go. So I'm learning a lot about this. Still super cool how it oscillates back and forth in mine. I haven't seen that in the other experimenters who did it. Uh, something, it's like this beat frequency. And so, yeah, 15 volt peak to peak, 9.5 megahertz. Um, yeah. So I'm just experimenting with the bias and see what that does. Here, I'll just get it all in one frame. Try this again, this experiment. All right, so we're getting all this. See how it's static once the toroid goes static and doesn't move anymore that's how i know it's it's getting too low of a bias and uh or too high of a bias i guess because as i turn this the bias voltage increases so there the gate voltage increases and if i increase it if I decrease it too much, there's not enough energy uh, to keep the toroid going. So if I decrease it more, you'll see it's going to fall apart. Watch. Okay, 17 volt peaks, 9.52. Here we go. There you go. And then it jumps to higher peak to peak. Interestingly enough, <clears throat> it's interesting. So the effect on the the effect that the toroid has on the circuit is that it lowers the peak to peak voltage and I think also lowers the resonant frequency of the uh of the oscillator. So let me turn up the bias again and then ground it. Pull some more current. There we go. Boom, and it's back. So as you can see, the P VPP lowered and also the resonant frequency of the oscillator lowered. Pretty interesting. So that's why I think there's some uh, inductance, 
some plasma inductance going on. And that this is, what's it called? Also the glass is, oh wow, glass is hot. Like definitely warm to the touch. So let me decrease, decrease the bias. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, and there we go, it goes away. Interesting. Hmm, okay. That's the update.